last year when we conducted a second private wealth management uh, survey, the asset under management were US dollar 800 billion. And this year, the AUM4, the PWM industry, have grown to US dollar 1 trillion. According to the survey by the SFC in July, which represent a solid 26% growth. The growth shows that Hong Kong continues to be the preeminent public wealth management hub that attracts wealthy individuals, families, and we certainly believe that the growth prospects remain very strong for us. Program Director for the Asset Management and Private Banking Program. I managed the program since it was first launched in 2017. I was a banker in the finance industry for over 30 years before I moved into the academia field and took up my current position. One of the activities that I found most useful is the coffee chat. The students in small groups of four and five who have an hour or more to coffee chat with the industry practitioner in the private banking or asset management industry. We named them Guest Mentor. The Guest Mentor will share with the students his or her own career experience and also share some useful advice for the students to get prepared for the upcoming challenges for their study and for their career path. So among all those various activities offered by AMPB, what impresses me most is the coffee chat. A coffee chat is so much more than a cup of coffee. What I value most is the person that I have coffee with, the reasons behind how they stepped into the industry and worked all the way up to where they are now, the daily routines of an insider, and the golden tips to foster a trusted relationship with billionaires, and so on and on and on. So everybody has a unique story. The more you hear, the more you ask, and the more you learn. Learning in AMPB is not limited by the four walls of the classroom. For example, our program director, Professor Anna Wong, arranges coffee chats every semester where students get into smaller groups of four or five, and each group gets to meet a different practitioner in the industry. Also, there's an event called Connectivity in Finance, and at the end of the event, we also had a trading simulation session. And I think that for all of us, we have a clearer idea of how the industry works and the different roles in the finance industry. And I believe that all of these experiences were a valuable one for everyone. Lastly, I need to mention a little bit about the curriculum. Other than the basic courses in economics, accounting, maths, statistics, and finance, the asset management and private banking curriculum embedded practical-oriented courses taught by teachers with solid experience in the industry, including a final year capstone course requiring the students to apply their knowledge into a case of managing portfolio of high net worth individual or institutional money. Apart from the general finance courses, these programs also offer different specific finance courses that focus on the development, trend and practical skills of the industry. For example, credit and lending in private banking and the regulation in AMPB field. All these courses are taught by practitioners and follow the curriculum and material of examinations held by professional bodies such as HKIB. The exclusive final year project could also help us understand the daily operation and a different role of the industry. After four years of education, the students are expected to equip themselves with the essential and practical skills of the industry. The students will also have the opportunities to do company visits. In their first year, the students visited the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. They visited two banks and met with the CEOs and their senior management team. And the students spent a whole afternoon in each of the bank. They were also able to meet with the Undersecretary of the Financial Services and Treasury Bureau. One of the activities that I enjoyed the most in the Connectivity in Finance program is the Amplified Trading Activity. 
we have the opportunity to simulate and play the roles of hedge fund managers and the traders in investment banks. We have to look out for immediate news and also fluctuating prices. This gives us an opportunity to taste how the sales and trading works. It is really fun and challenging. This program has actually deepened my understanding of the finance industry. We could know more about the background and the unique features of these companies. I believe that the future of this industry could be unprecedentedly bright and promising and more human talents will be needed. To be honest, I did not know anything about the finance or private banking industry before the Connectivity and Finance program. Having visited Julius Baer, I was able to understand the futures of private banking and the essence of a very traditional Swiss bank. Most importantly, I went to the bank having an impression that it is a deteriorating industry, but came up with the idea that AR was just another tool to help with the back offices. Ultimately, high net worth individuals value time and effort a banker can give instead, something computers can never offer. This has truly inspired me, and with the other visits, it encouraged me to be more enthusiastic about this industry. In their second year, the students were able to participate in corporate series events whereby they will have the opportunity to join roundtable talks and met with four asset management companies. And the students will have the opportunity to be selected as one of the summer interns. Industry mentoring is another opportunity that the students would have. The students will be able to join the mentorship program of a professional investment institute and learn from the mentor throughout the year. I'm one of the participants of the Asset Management Corporate Series, which is in collaboration with CSOP, Valley Partners, and Briefing Technologies. There are several seminars that the senior professionals from each of the companies came to share with us. It allowed us to know more about how the asset management companies work, what the opportunities and challenges are in the future. I really got to know more about the first-hand information in the industry and also gained much insights from the professionals. After the sharing sessions, we also needed to finish a group project about the recent issues in the asset management field. After all, it's my great pleasure that I got the opportunity of having a summer industry program in one of the company's value partners. I can really have the hand-on working experience in one of the famous asset management companies in Hong Kong. With my background, I'm a strong believer of learning outside of the classroom and therefore strive to provide my students with as many opportunities as possible to reach out to the industry as early as possible. As my students interact with the industry leaders or industry practitioners, especially in small groups or on an individual basis, they will learn and develop and that will make them stand out. In sum, the Asset Management and Private Banking program aims to provide students with solid academic skills in investment and finance, connect the students to the industry throughout their four years of university study, and prepare them for a career in the finance world.